Hi everybody, I'm Gabrielle, founder of Strand Pilates. Thank you for watching. Today we're gonna do a uh, quad, inner thigh, tricep, back posture uh, workout. Um, all you need is a ball, a squishy ball. If you don't have one of these, we're only gonna use it for the beginning, but if you don't have one, you can use like a little pillow or roll up a towel or something. Um, and then I'm five months pregnant, so I'm gonna use a wedge while I'm laying down here to start to have my heart higher than my pelvis. If you are also pregnant and you don't have one of these wedges, you can just stack some pillows up to, have, to elevate the heart. Um, if you're not pregnant, you do not need one of these. Okay, so on this Allegro 2 Reformer, I'm on three red springs, that's three heavy springs. If you would like it a little heavier, feel free to put a yellow spring, which on this Reformer is like very, very, very light spring. Okay. So grab your ball, the ball, the bar is on high, and lie down on your back. Let's place the ball between the inner thighs and then the feet can kind of stay on the platform here. All right, feel free to have your uh, toes further forward so they, they're dangling off. And we're just gonna settle in to the carriage. Go ahead and tuck and untuck a couple times just to feel the difference here in the alignment. And then stop when you find that neutral pelvis, so untucked pelvis. And we take a big inhale into the belly. On the exhale, just draw the belly up and in, pushing the air out, starting from those lower abdominals. Inhale to fill it back up. And this time, squeeze the ball first. Exhale, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis. Inhale. Releasing the ball a little. Exhale, squeeze first, then pull those lower abdominals up. Belly pulls in, ribs pull towards each other. Inhale, releasing all of that. Two more. Trying not to tuck as you exhale. Find length in the spine. and then slowly releasing. Good, keep the ball between your inner thighs. Place your feet, your toes, all 10 toes wrapped on the bar. Same breathing pattern, let's inhale here. Exhale, squeeze the ball, belly pulls in and up, press out, reach, bend to come in. And squeeze, press out, and bend to come in. So we're lengthening and stretching. Take that little extra bit of time here at the top to pull in opposite directions. So the toes are trying to push the bar away. The legs are trying to push the bar away while the spine is trying to grow in the opposite direction. Remember your breath and your squeezing of the ball as you press out. And five. Four, three, two, think of pulling your sit bones towards each other, last one, bring it halfway in, pause, so the carriage is halfway, little tiny pulses, up an inch and down an inch, squeezing the ball, move comes from quads, glutes, hamstrings, not the knee joints. Good, inner thighs are working hard to keep squeezing that ball. Tailbone is heavy, the spine is long. We're here for four, three, two, and hold it halfway, pause. Little squeezes with the ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it out, bring it in. Keep the ball between your inner thighs. Just squeeze your heels together so your toes are apart, heels are together. Let's press out all the way. So it's normal that your knees won't be able to length the straighten out all the way because the ball is there. So we're gonna work from this point to down a little and back up. Down a little and back up. The pelvis stays neutral and stable. <sighs> Trying to keep squeezing those heels together if you can. We're here for eight, seven, six. Keep control, con contracting those abdominals. And four, three, two, and 
one, bring it all the way back in. Keep your heels together, toes apart, just come up into your heels on the bar. Press halfway out and pause. So from here, we're gonna give the ball one squeeze, then grab the ball with your hands, open your knees out to the sides. Place the ball back between your inner thighs, squeeze. Take the ball out, open the thighs, and continue, you guys. So we're just kind of lubricating the hip joints here, feeling the femurs rotating inside the hip sockets. And we're here for five, four, three, two, and one. And take it out, hold it in your hands, elbows wide, plug in your arms into your back. We're gonna press it out one squeeze and bring it back in. Keep the arms there, come down onto your toes, all 10 toes, fist distance apart between those big toes. Knees pointing straight up to the ceiling. Let's press it out and hold. Lower one heel underneath the bar and try to pull the bar towards you with that opposite uh, foot, the foot, the, he the foot of the heel that's lifted. And lift and switch. So now you're, 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 my left heel is trying to reach as far underneath the bar as I can as I'm trying to pull the bar towards me with my right foot. And lift and switch. Lift and switch. The pelvis is stable. Back of the neck is long. Let's go for 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift both heels up and pause. Now, without dropping the heels, I'll do it the bad way here. Without doing this, we're going to slowly lower the heels with control under the bar and hold. Now, wrap up your seat. Think of pulling your inner thighs and glutes towards each other from the back, and then lift the heels back up. Lower with control. Wrap up those glutes and inner thighs, lift. Now, as you lower the heels, try to grow the spine taller. So I just noticed my core working a little bit more there. Squeeze the glutes and lift. Lengthen the spine to lower. Engage through the back of the legs to lift. Lengthen, engage. Lengthen, engage. We're here for five. Four, three, two, last one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, carriage halfway in. Hold the carriage steady, don't let it move. Lower and lift the heels, both at the same time. Good, so a lot of ankle articulation here. Bit of a challenge to have both legs working equally. Good, feeling it a bit in the quads here as well. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the heels, press it out, and bring the carriage all the way back in. Nice, you guys. Place the ball down. Come on up for a quick spring change. Take off one red and lie back down on your back. Reach for your straps. Place your feet inside the long loops. All right, make sure the straps are nice and snug by your heels. Reach your legs up to the ceiling. Enjoy a nice stretch. Let's go for our leg lowers. Squeeze the legs tight. Unlock the knee joints, very important. Neutral spine, your tail is down. Pull down and sweep back up. Exhale, inhale up. So as the legs pull down, draw the belly in to keep that torso. Nice and snug on the carriage to prevent the belly from popping up and the ribs from splaying open. Good, the reason I'm unlocking my knees, especially on the way down, is we wanna be pulling from the muscles in the back of the legs and not from our knee joints. We're here for three and two. And last one, bring your legs up and pause. Keeping the legs parallel to one another, open your legs out to the sides. So notice I didn't turn my toes out when I opened my legs out to the sides, right? 
my femurs are still parallel. Circle the legs around and down together and back up. Open, circle, back up. Open, circle, back up. Abs in as your legs circle around and back up. Four more. See how far you can push those feet into the straps towards the, the wall facing your bar. Back up, pause, reverse. Squeeze the legs tight, unlock the knees. We go down, open and around and close. Down, open and around and close. Keep the hips as stable as possible as you do these leg circles. That's your challenge. Letting both legs working equally. And four. Three. Two. Hold this next one down at 45 degrees. Heels together, toes apart. Froggy, bend the knees in and push. So imagine you're holding a quarter between your heels. You really wanna squeeze those heels tight as you press out and as you drag your heels back in. So we're dragging the heels in, we're pushing them out. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go for our um, jumping frogs. We're gonna bend the knees in without moving the carriage. So make sure your knees aren't in too far. We're gonna open the legs out to the sides. Reach through your heels as you pull them together at 45 degrees. Bend the knees in. Don't move the carriage. Open the legs. Push to meet. Bend. Open. Reach. Bend. Open. Reach. Two more. Bend. Open. Reach. Last one. Bend. Open. Reach. Reverse. Open. Without moving the carriage, Bend, heels meet, push, open. Bend, heels meet, push, open. Bend, heels meet, push. Three more, open. Bend, heels meet, push, open. Bend, heels meet, push. Last one, open. Bend, heels meet, push, butterfly stretch. Feel free to hold on to those ropes if you'd like. Great work, you guys. And let's take the feet out of the straps and hook them back up. Okay, so coming up, if you were using a wedge, you don't need it anymore, go ahead and place it down. We're gonna switch our springs up to a red and a blue spring. So that's, the blue spring is my medium spring, yellow is very light, if you do not have that yellow spring, that very light spring, opt for just one red spring only. Okay, so we're gonna come up onto our knees, feet against the shoulder blocks, hands on the bar. Staying here, hinge, uh, pull your butt back like you're gonna sit down on your heels. Wrap your arms back into connecting with the back. So shoulders aren't here. We're pulling them down and back. Neutral spine. Draw the belly in. Already start to imagine that you're squeezing a ball between your inner thighs and you're trying to squeeze your glutes. We push out and pull in. So my shoulders aren't moving in space at all. Imagine somebody is holding your shoulders there. As you press out into that kneeling plank position, so you're a straight line from crown of the head to tail, or top of the head to tail, rather. And we're gonna draw the belly in as you press out. Think of gently pulling hip bones towards bottom ribs so that you're not overarching like this. We're here for four. Remember that inner thigh pull. Three, two, and hold this next one out. Pause. 
Keep engaging that corset here. We're gonna bend the elbows straight back to pull forwards and then push. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Try not to let the elbows pull out to the sides. Inhale, <sighs> exhale. We're here for five, <sighs> four. Shoulder blades stay wide. Three, <sighs> two, Last one, and bring it in. Okay, take off your blue so on. We're on one yellow spring that's really light. Again, if you don't have that yellow spring, just go to your lightest spring setting. And we're gonna turn around. Legs between the shoulder blocks. It's nice to have the heels kind of hang off the shoulder block, and anyways, make sure that you have a little bit of room behind you. Grab your straps off the shoulder blocks. We're gonna hold on to the short straps. Okay, so sitting up as tall as you can. Notice when I did that, my knees bent a little bit, totally fine. If you prefer to sit like on a wedge or a couple pillows to help, if you've got really tight hamstrings, you can um, do that instead. Okay, so sitting here, I'm still gonna try to work through my legs to stretch them out even if it doesn't if, you know, even if it's more work for me, I'm gonna try to do that. Lengthen through your spine. Lift the spine up out of the hips. This is very important, you guys. You wanna fight to maintain that. It makes a big difference. All right, holding onto the strap, palms facing in. Elbows slightly bent, rounded. Connect your arms into your back. We're gonna open the arms out to the sides and hold. So again, yes, the weight is light, but we're holding today. Pause. Pull your shoulder blades down and together grow taller. You can even engage the glutes a little bit here. And then slowly bring the arms back to the front. And again, open, hold, grow tall. Don't hold your breath. Just breathe normal and back center. Three more, open and hold. So shoulder blades are pulling down and together as the spine is growing tall and back in and pull back feeling the back of the shoulders working feeling the back working those muscles along the spine to keep you upright last one here open grow tall and back center now point your toes try to actively reach those legs away from you Tuck your tail, keep growing tall though, no sinking down, right? Keep your growing tall, tuck your tail, roll it back just a little bit. Holding it here, still plugging your arms into your back. We're gonna draw the belly in still, keep that engaged. Open the arms out to the sides, hold. Flex your feet, point your toes, pull the arms to the front. Let's exhale, open, hold, flex, and point and arms pull back to the front <sighs> nice you guys <sighs> keep trying to lengthen through that spine as you point and flex your feet as you flex your feet really reach those heels away from the belly the belly away from the heels so wait until your arms are out to move your legs. Last one here. Arms forwards and come on up. Changing our grip. So keep holding onto the straps. Turn your fingertips to point to the ceiling. Then from here, rotate your hands within the strap and then open your arms back out. So the strap is on the back of your hand. Roll the shoulders back, grow tall, staying here, neutral spine. Navel to spine, press back, hold. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down, grow taller. And back center, good. Try not to over arch the lower or back. And let's do two more. 
long back of the neck. Last one here. And arms back to the front. Now tuck your tail, grow tall, roll back, reach your toes forwards and hold. If you're a little more pregnant than me and you don't feel like rolling back, just go ahead and tuck your tail and just focus here on those low, low abdominals without rolling back. So holding it here, we open the arms out. Make sure your arms aren't locked out like this, still rounded elbows. Flex and point and pull the arms forwards. Pull back, collarbones are wide. Flex and point and arms forwards. Three more. Reach those heels away from the belly, the belly away from the heels as you flex. Last one here. Definitely feeling this in the back of the shoulders and arms to the front. Come on up. Hook your straps up for a second. Cross your legs, hold on to the shoulder blocks and round your back for a stretch. Send the breath in between your shoulder blades here. Okay, we're going to stay cross-legged for one more exercise here. So whenever we work back in posture, it's always very important to throw in some rotation, all right? Some thoracic rotation. So grab your uh, one strap, place the arm inside the shortest strap if you have a shorter strap. Elbow is down. If you don't have a shorter strap, just scoot your butt a little further back. Um, my left arm is forward, my right arm is bent. Drawing the shoulders down, make sure you're not overarching that lower back. Your tail is nice and long. The belly is drawing in as you rotate and hold. So we're rotating towards that bent arm. I did not lean back, right? I'm keeping the ribs centered right over the pelvis. Now, if you notice your shoulders pulled up, push them down. Imagine you're pushing something down with your arms as you're trying to grow taller. Look back, slowly come back to center. Don't straighten your, right, your arm that's bent. And rotate, hold. And back center. What helps me is imagining I'm holding a, an elastic with, from my left hand to my right elbow and I'm stretching that elastic band out. Good. And I just noticed I was leaning a little bit to the right. I was doing a little bit of this. So if you did that too, think of lengthening through the, the side of the waist you're twisting towards. Let's do two more. So you should feel the little muscles here around your spine and shoulder blade really working. Last one here. And back to center. Hook the strap up. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Draw the shoulders down. Lengthen through the low back. Draw the belly in. Rotate, hold. Pull that elastic band. Come back center. So again, I love to do holds for a while here since we're on that light spring. And back center. Lengthen through the side of the waist you're twisting towards. Make sure your shoulders stay low. Two more. And last one. And back center. Very nice, you guys. Go ahead and hook the strap back up. And we're going to come on up. Uh, let's switch it right away to one uh, blue spring only and take off your yellow spring. Okay, the bar can stay as is and we're gonna grab our boxes and put them on the long way. Okay, you guys, so still on that medium spring, that blue spring, boxes on the long way. Come up into your hands and knees. Okay, knees underneath the hips are slightly in front here is fine. Grabbing the strap, I'm gonna grab my right strap and the hand is inside the longer loop if you have that. Okay, so fingertips reach to the floor and then put more weight into your right knee than your left knee. So my, this is my right arm, my right knee. So I'm putting more weight into that right knee. Left elbow stays unlocked. Shoulders pull back. We're going to sweep that arm up towards the hip and then sweep it back down. This is a great variation to pulling straps if you cannot lie down on your belly. For me, obvious reasons, I am pregnant. 
So that is Y. So here, the abs pull in as the arm pulls back. And we're trying to really move from our back instead of like the hand and the arm. The arm stays plugged into the back. So notice I'm not pulling my shoulder forwards as the arm lowers down. I'm keeping that shoulder head pulling away from the ear. A little more weight still in that right knee and left hand. Last one here and lower it down. Now turn your palm to face in and grip that strap. Pull your elbow by your side. Roll the shoulders back. Make sure that right shoulder isn't higher than the left. We extend the arm back and bend. Tricep work here. And four, three, two, last one, and hook the strap back up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so open palm, right? Fingertips pull to the floor by the side of the box. Level the shoulders out, unlock the arm that's still on the box. Navel to spine, put more weight into the left knee here. So the knee that is closest to the strap and pull the arm back and sweep back down. Really roll those shoulders back, back, back. Working from the back, pulling from the back. Abs still stay engaged. Long back of the neck. Make sure you're not dropping your head. Looking down towards the headrest is a good spot. Let's go for four. Three. Two. Nice, you guys. One more here. Lower the arm. Turn your palm to face the box. Grip the strap, pull your elbow up to your side, roll your shoulders back, level them out. Extend back for tricep and bend. So you never want to go too fast that this happens. See my strap? I'll do it again. My rope, how it does that. No bueno, not good in Pilates. Reach control, then bend back. So it's always that little hold, then bend back. And don't go too fast as you straighten your arm out. Let's go for three. And two. Last one. Good job, you guys. Hook that strap back up. Step on off to the side of your box. Hands are gonna stay on the box nice and wide. Take a couple steps back. Feet can be wide and just lean into it. Get a nice stretch. Getting a good stretch through the back of the shoulders that we worked before as well. Then walk your feet a little closer towards each other parallel. And then round your back, come halfway up. Push your hands into the box. Widen your shoulder blades. And slowly hands off, roll it up. We have one more exercise here, you guys. Add a red spring. So you have a blue and a red. Blue and a red. One medium, one heavy spring. Sit on your box, facing your straps. We're going for some rows. So scoot back a little bit so you're not too crunched towards the front. Cross your straps. Hands in the short loops. Grow tall, palms facing the floor. If you're here, and it feels like your straps are loose, scoot further back on the box, okay? All right, holding it here, notice how my shoulders are pulling forwards. Go ahead and if they are, pull them back. Navel to spine, ribs are right over the pelvis, we're not popping the ribs out. And we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and down first, then pull the arms back and hold and then slowly extend the arms forward. Squeeze back there and pull, and then extend. So the movement comes from the back, 
not the elbows. Here's me coming from the elbows. And then when I do this, I don't feel anything in my back. And I feel this. I feel a lot of tension in my upper trap. So squeeze the shoulder blades together and down, then pull. Then extend with control without letting the shoulders pull forward. And we're here for 10. Nine, we can pick up the pace a little bit. Don't lose the quality. Seven, I think I skipped a number, that's okay. Six, five, four, wrist stay straight. Three, two, last one. And then arms forwards, keep your straps around your back. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. And now, I don't know if this makes a difference, but it's a distraction. We're gonna cross the straps the other way. The strap that was on the bottom, put it on top. Okay, sitting up tall, same move. Roll the shoulders back. We're not leaning back. We're sitting up super tall, vertical. Squeeze and pull. And extend, squeeze and pull. And don't forget the squeeze and then the down sensation of those shoulder blades pulling down as your spine is growing tall. If you got a bigger belly than me, feel free to open your knees out a little bit more out to the sides. Almost done, you guys. And eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. Uncross the straps. Keep the short straps in your hands. Tuck your tail, roll back, and over round your upper back. Get a good stretch release there. And come back up, hook your straps back up. All right, knees can kind of open out to the sides, release those hip flexors, grow tall, relax the shoulders down. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder without pulling your left shoulder up to your ear. Just relax both shoulders down. Feeling a nice stretch in that opposite upper trap and neck. Now pull your chin down towards your chest. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, really letting that shoulder hang. Feeling a good stretch in the left upper trap. Chin down towards the chest. And stack your head back up. Couple shoulder rolls back. And you guys are done with the workout. Good job, you guys. Make sure you check out my other videos on YouTube. Have a nice day. Bye.